What's up guys and gals, it is I, once again Yusuf Al Sanad and well guys and gals, it's about time, time to share with you guys and gals my top 10 favorite movies of 2018, a year which has flown by as a new year begins, a new year which has only just begun and these 10 films guys and gals are among the best and my personal favorites of 2018, a year which yours truly loved so much in cinema for their stories actings and of course the impacts these movies had on yours truly from last year and without further ado guys and gals here are my top 10 favorite movies of 2018 which once again guys and gals is my personal picks and favorites and here's how the list goes at number 10 we have Ari Aster's Hereditary my god guys and gals that name is so hard to pronounce but that's just me Hereditary Ari Aster's Hereditary is such a great movie a scary movie at times with great acting a great story and of course some tension some serious tension and horror and this film guys and gals was so intense and effective in terms of the horror and the fact that this film was so scary and so powerful in its story and that's why Ari Aster's Hereditary ranks at number 10 at number 9 we have Susan Beer's Bird Box Bird Box was such a good movie a great story about motherhood and the fact that this this mother played so well by Sandra Bullock loves and cares for her children so much a little boy and little girl she refers to as boy and girl and this tale guys and gals is their tale of survival against these monsters monsters they can't see hence why they blind themselves otherwise they would go crazy and do God knows what and this film guys and gals was so intense and so powerful and of course so impactful because of that their tale of survival against these monsters against nature and against all odds as this family a family of a small boy a small girl and their mother do what they can to survive against all odds and to make sure they make it out alive and that's why Susan Beer's Bird Box ranks at number nine at number eight we have John Krasinski's A Quiet Place which was such a great movie a great horror film and of course a great family drama very much like Susan Beer's Bird Box but this film guys and gals the monsters in this movie rely on their senses the senses being their hearings hence why the family in this movie one of who is played by John Krasinski who's also the writer and director are to be quiet no matter what and this film guys and gals was so intense and engaging because of it and this story guys and gals is so heartfelt and so powerful and of course so heartwarming and that's why John Krasinski's A Quiet Place ranks at number Number eight. At number seven, we have Alex Garland's Annihilation. This film, guys and gals, oh my god, was so gruesome, so horrifying, and so intense. And my god, this film, guys and gals, got to me in so many ways I did not expect. It's scary to be sure, but this film, guys and gals, strangely enough, is beautiful, scary, and beautiful. It's a very strange combination, guys and gals. Combination, is that how you say the word? I'm not sure. But this film, guys and gals, was indeed scary scary and beautiful and this film has so many great performances by Natalie Portman, Jennifer Jason Lee, Tessa Thompson and of course some other actresses who I don't know and Oscar Isaac all of who are so good. This film guys and gals was so fascinating, so horrifying and so beautiful and scary at the same time and that's exactly why Alex Garland's Annihilation ranks at number 7. At number 6 we have Gareth Evans Apostle. This film guys and gals is without question among the best movie of last year for many reasons one of which is of course the performance by Dan Stevens Dan Stevens was so fantastic and so great and so intense and my god guys and gals he is a star in the making Apostle was already a good movie for yours truly but his performance elevated this movie in so many ways Dan Stevens character was so tragic and the sacrifice he makes for his sister his beloved sister was so awesome and heroic and my god guys and gals his character stuck with me until the very end not just because of how well written his character was but because of Dan Stevens performance which was so great and so awesome and that's why this movie Gareth Evans Apostle ranks at number six at number five we have Stephen Cable Jr's Creed 2 Creed 2 guys and gals was such a great movie a great boxing drama and a great family drama too and a great tale of two men who come together because of one 
tragedy, one tragedy from their past, Adonis Creed, otherwise known as Donnie, the son of Apollo Creed, the great late Apollo Creed, and Victor Drogo, the son of Ivan Drogo, and these two tales, guys and gals, the tales of their fathers, comes back to haunt these two young men, these two young men who are driven by anger and vengeance, a lust for vengeance, and hatred too, as these two men, these two sons of their fathers collide inside the ring in a David versus Goliath bout. This film, guys and gals, was so epic, so heartwarming, and my god, this film can pull your heartstrings in so many ways. And that's exactly what the series is known for, its heart and soul and drama both inside and outside the ring. And that's exactly why this movie, Stephen Capel Jr.'s Creed 2, ranks at number 5, and yours truly plans to review the film in due time. I will, guys and gals, you bet I will. At number 4, we have Timo Yayanto, however you say his name, and his movie, The Night Comes For Us, and this movie, guys and gals, my god, was so epic and so action-packed. And this film, guys and gals, has some really good acting on the part of Joe Taslam, Iko Uwe, my boy Iko Uwe. Iko Uwe, guys and gals, I said so many times before, is the next Bruce Lee. He is, guys and gals. Iko Uwe, guys and gals, is the next Bruce Lee. Mark my word. Julie Estelle, Hannah Al Rashid, Zach Lee, and this one woman, her name is Dina. I cannot say her last name because obviously Indonesian names are hard to say say or pronounce but yeah guys and gals this film was so great and the action was so awesome and my god so epic and this film has some really good martial arts Indonesian martial arts known as Silat and my god it's so awesome so badass and this film guys and gals is just worthy to be at number four is where Timo the night comes for us belongs Timo's the night comes for us at number four at number three we have Haifa Mansour's Mary Shelley. Mary Shelley, guys and gals, was such a beautiful and very heartbreaking and very inspiring love story, a gothic love story told by Haifa Al Mansour. This film, guys and gals, was so beautiful in terms of the love story and the performances by the actors Elle Fanning and Douglas Booth. Both of them are very good, but Elle Fanning, guys and gals, was the highlight of this movie and she was so great and beautiful and so sensational and she brings to life Mary Shelley who she was as a woman a strong woman who was also a genius a very proud genius a brilliant genius and my god guys and gals she was absolutely amazing and so awesome and I love her I do guys and gals I fucking do and that's why this movie Haifa Al Mansour's Mary Shelley ranks at number three at number two we have Becca Gleason's Summer 03 and this film guys and gals was so beautiful and so so awesome and my god so funny as all hell this film guys and gals was a great drama a great coming-of-age story and of course a great comedy drama comedy drama and a coming-of-age story at its core Joey King guys and gals was so awesome and so fantastic and just hilarious guys and gals this film and this tale is her story her coming-of-age and my god it's so awesome and so much fun to watch through it is guys and gals it really was and that's why this movie, Becca Gleason's Summer 03, ranks at number 2. And last but not least, we have number 1 of my top 10 favorite movies of 2018, Paul Schrader's First Reformed. What can I say about this movie, guys and gals, except the fact that this film was so great and so heartwarming and my god, in every sense of the word, impactful. This film, guys and gals, is without question the most personal and most intimate of Paul Paul Schrader's work and this film guys and gals in many ways was so great and so heartwarming and impactful. Ethan Hawke, Amanda Seyfried and of course Cedric the Entertainer, all of them guys and gals, all three of them were so good, especially Ethan Hawke and of course Amanda Seyfried, both of them guys and gals in this movie were so great. The friendship and love their characters developed was so beautiful and just so heartwarming guys and gals, it really was.
was Paul Schrader's first performed is a movie that deals in so many themes and ideas about God, about one's faith, and the fact that humanity is crumbling. When there is darkness, there is light, and when there is Satan, there is God. Bad and good exist in this world, guys and gals, but what does count is the good we hold on to, and that's the message of this movie, which is without question my favorite movie of 2018, Paul Schrader's First Reformed. Thank you guys and girls for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please like, comment, subscribe if you wish, and do check out my gaming channel where I do let's play series, gaming content, and so much more. Until next time, peace out, take care, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.